start. This week's um, homework is different between what the grade fours are doing and what the grade fives are doing. And it all has to do with science. So, for the grade fives, we, as I've said, are done our booklet. So, most of you should have finished already the sections on circulatory and respiratory. I have not given a lot of class time to finish up the pages on the digestive system, the nervous system, or the excretory system. However, we are starting on our science projects, so we're not coming back to this booklet. So this week for homework is to finish up your booklet. Okay? All the information that you need is in here, the reading passages, the response questions, all of that. Some of you are done. Guess what? No homework. Some of you are close to done. A little bit of homework. Some of you, less efficient in our use of class time, lots of homework. You know who you are. So, for grade fives, you're going through and you're finishing this up. Um, I do not require that you do the word search on the back, but if you want to, you can. Um, but yes, right into the immune system. Actually, leave the immune system and the defense system at the very back. We'll finish on digestive and excretory. Um, and then we'll stop there. Grade fours. Um, you have your science booklet on um, that we've been doing in class. We're still using it. So you can't take it home. However, I'm going to give you a double-sided page that I would like you to answer. Everything on there is a review of what we've already done. So there's questions around communities, there's questions around adaptations, um, and there's questions around habitats that I'd like you to finish and complete. Okay? So I'm going to give you that two page. You're going to write your name at the top um, and put your number on it, and that's what you're going to be working on. We were very low on superstar readers this week. We were very high on people that either didn't finish their homework assignment or did not record their five nights of home reading. Homework is due Thursday. It gives you a full week to work on this. You are welcome to come in. If you need a recess time to work on it as well or you need my help with something, just ask. I'm a, I will make myself available. I'm not available a second nutrition break if I have duty, but other than that, I can totally help you out with it, and you're welcome to work on it at school. There is probably, for a number of you, too much in here to be spending. Like, there's a lot of time for some of you. Please use your recesses so that it's not just happening at night every night. Okay, Porter. Um, I have a question about, like, that, like, about, like, our homework. Yes. So, do we do the reading and that? Because you said that's our only thing. Do we do the reading and that and the, the math thing? There's no math this week. Okay. And do we have to do reading? Yes. So you're reading your five nights for 20 minutes. Okay. And this is that other piece that goes with the, with the reading. Oh, instead of your math? Yes. Okay. okay. So there's no math. I'm not giving you any math pages this week. We'll come back to math pages again, but not this week. I want everyone to finish up their science and feel good about their science stuff. Marissa. Um, so... You finished all your stuff in the science booklet. All yes. you have is reading this week? Correct. Yeah. So there's some of you that that is the case for. Uh, not very many, though. So I want everybody up to the same spot by Thursday. Does there anybody have any other questions? Yep, Hunter? I did every night of reading, though. Well, we'll talk about that when we're not recording. Anything else? Ladies? Sarah? So we're in all the way through the whole entire science book. The only thing you're not finishing is the, set, the parts on defense system, and that is totally not. Oh, that is mine. Oh, thanks, Bryce. <laughs> um, yeah, and then there's the sections that have immune system at the very back. We don't, you don't have to do those pages. We will do those as a class after we're done. Some of you I know have gone ahead and worked on that, but that's the only part you don't have. So what do we have to do? Okay, in your science book, you are going to go through. You need to... There shouldn't be anybody left working on, on the circulatory system. Then it moves into the section on respiratory, so you need to finish that. Then it gets into the nervous system. I'm on the nervous system. Then you need to move into the digestive system. And then finally there's a section on the uh, excretory system. And then there is page this 24 that starts on defense system. You do not need to do. And you don't need to do the following page, which is on... Um, the immune system, you don't need to do that, okay? So if you get to the, I don't know if your book has a blank page in it, but that tells you where you need to end. 
Okay, this one here. Right. I will. You can review the video later, or you and I can talk. Um. No starting on projects at home. They have to be done at school. Um, if you, are, are you allowed, if you have like something at home and you might have to get rid of it, do you like to take something for it for your slideshow at home? Like Why don't you and I talk about that after, okay? Are there any other questions about this week's homework? Uh, grade fours, you are here. What is a community? What is a habitat? Who is more important in a habitat community, plants or animals? Or are plants and animals equally important? Justify your reason. Uh, how many habitat communities can you think of? Name three habitat communities and identify some of the plants and animals that live in them. And then finally, draw two different types of habitats. Label each habitat. Okay, so none of that is new to you. All right. Thanks, Avery.